Hey guys, this is Tara. I am back for a second video um, making some ephemera for this uh, boho gypsy journal that I'm working on. And so I just figured I would bring you guys along. Um, you know what, let me, sorry, this is gonna shake. I'm gonna plug in the mic here. Oops, there. Hopefully that'll work. I hope you guys can hear me okay. All right, so I have some pre-made things. I made um, these little little envelope type things um, a while ago, and I have a whole pile of them. So I was gonna decorate one of them for this, this journal. So I'm gonna do a little bit of inking with you guys. I didn't do much inking with the last one, but I want to get a little bit more contrast between this piece that's going to go on here. This is kind of pale to begin with. I'm going to put that right there. I think that's pretty. Okay. Yes, I'm in screen. <laughs> Just double checking here. All right. Gosh, I forget how much longer it takes to do things than I think it's going to take. Um, always longer than you think. That's all right. I was hoping to have this journal done this evening, but I think it's going to take another half a day. Part of it is I have a little too much stuff to choose from, and so that kind of always slows me down a little bit. Um, at that little little butterfly. I think I'm gonna put him in there. He's kind of cute. I'm gonna give him just a little bit of color. Maybe just a little bit here and there, not too much. And this is gonna get um oh what is it? Glue stick. I'm gonna get my words. Oops. I'm just gonna do that real quick off camera. I think it's off camera. There we go. And that just hit the floor. <laughs> it's all right. Let's just grab another one. I have a bunch of uh, expired cards for different reasons, so I've always got one handy. There. That's cute. Okay. I'm gonna put that on there. Yeah, since my background is so busy, that's one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and ink some of this stuff, hoping that, like I said, it'll it'll pop up just a little bit more. Yeah, like that. A little thicker, so I'll use the art glitter glue. I guess it doesn't matter which direction. I'll go this way. There. My on camera. Yes. Excellent. So then I'm just going to throw in um, a few tags or tickets. Little tickets from the kit. This is these are the tickets are from the um, Artie Mays kit. And this little piece here and the first piece I glued down are from the Graphics Fairy website. There, so I have those in there. Cool. And I do have a tag that um, fits inside. So I'm going to decorate that real quick. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to put this little guy here in the corner. And that is from the Graphics Fairy. I'm going to have him just slightly off of that corner so it looks like he's a little bit framed. There. And then this is a scrap piece from Artie Maze's uh, set. 
think I'm going to I want it to fit there on the top. There we go. I just don't want to over glue it. And then everything gets all sticky. Scissors, fingers, you know how it works. I think we've all been there. Okay. Scissors. There we go. There. Then I guess I can uh, force myself to throw those little pieces away. <laughs> we all know it's not that easy, is it? Okay, I am going to go ahead and ink this around the outside edge real quick. There, that's kind of cute. And then stick that right in there. Cool, there's another piece ready and let's see. So I've got some envelopes from Artie Mays' kit um, that were already you know, pre-made and some little pieces to put in it. But I want to decorate them up just a little. So I've got these here from the other kit, the uh, Graphics Fairy kit. And I accidentally punched that out and didn't quite get it where I wanted it. So this is perfect because the hummingbird will cover it right up. <laughs> so that is what I'm going to do. All right. So that's going to go there. I'm going to put this Paper stuck all over. All right, so let's hope that I get this in close enough the spot I wanted. Yeah, that'll work. Let's get this little guy. Ooh, come on now. on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew, sneezing. Can I go that direction? Yeah, I'll go that direction. Okay. So hopefully this will be a little bit shorter video. At the end of the other video, I thought it was an hour long, but um, I actually had two old videos that I never deleted from the the queue, so <laughs> it wasn't quite as long as I thought it was going to be, so that worked out. Okay, and this one, I think that's really cute right there, but I wouldn't mind having something else. And this is what ends up taking me so long, because I keep playing with stuff. <laughs> I just can't seem to help myself. Mm. The envelope is so pretty, but at the same time, ooh, what about this? I like the I like using up these little scrap pieces. Let me see. Here we go. Ooh, that'll add some brightness to it. Yeah, I think I like that. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's get this cut down. Now, 
Now I got a whole bunch of these uh, papers that have this uh, orange and some other colors. Here's some of them. I got them from a, a yard sale. Actually, I think it was an estate sale. A woman had passed away and um, her family was selling a bunch of her, um, oh, she'd made jewelry and I think these are all acrylic type pours. And there was a whole stack of them and they're just so pretty and what great paper to collage and create with. So I purchased the whole bundle when I found them <laughs> and uh, I have been using them ever since. It's kind of cool to, to know as I'm using them that they, um, that somebody else, you know, created them just at home for fun. I don't know what she did with them, but uh, neither did the family. <laughs> So it was nice to have them and it's nice to be able to use them. Hopefully it makes her artist spirit happy. Oh, I like that. Super simple little envelope. Yeah. There's that one. Let's see, here's a pocket. Kind of like that on there, but I would like a little bit more. Again, I can't help myself. I just keep going and going. Um, I don't know what else I have. Ooh. Some other papers. Scrappy pieces. That darker piece is nice. Hmm. If there's any other darker pieces over here. Let's see, and this is what will slow me down. Excuse me while I reach. <laughs> but I do so enjoy. I love being able to use up all my scraps. <laughs> Let's see, I don't have anything else that's kind of dark over there, do I? Nope. Nope, not really. That's alright. It's got that little hint of blue in there. Oof, I'm tempted to cut a piece off of that. Sneak it in there. <laughs> hmm, yeah, why not? Why not? Especially if I can get some of that blue. Maybe I'll do that. I'll try not to make too much of a mess of it. So let's cut it a little bit neater. I think that'll do. I like that pop against that pale uh, background there. I've got her there. I want some of that blue showing. That one. So hopefully you guys are having a good day. You can be doing some crafting of your own. I know a lot of people that watch these videos are also artistic and crafty in their own right. Okay. Now that the main holidays um, are over, I think what the next one coming up is uh, Valentine's Day. I was actually considering doing a Valentine's Day uh, journal. 
and I never have gotten around in the last few years doing um, journal specific for holidays but I kind of have the inkling to do that this year so we'll see I think I might I've been saving stuff um, for different holidays and different places uh, collecting you know for Christmas and for uh, actually do I have I think I actually have some Valentine's Day stuff too um, but I think that might be nice I think I'm gonna ink at least her I like that, that works, okay. That's something, I'm gonna give just a little bit, just a light inking here. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Well, she is done. I keep wanting to use these stickers, but we'll see. Um, let's see. I think this is the last thing I had kind of planned out already. So I've got these cute little envelopes. Oops. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was thinking of putting it on a page like this. So let's just kind of plan it out a little. Oh, that's, ooh, that's bright. Maybe not that page. Mm -mm. Let's see. There's something in here we can play with. Ooh. I like to play with the colors. <laughs> I do a lot. All right, so what I was thinking was if I put this down decorate it, it could flip up and then I could have something inside or flip or do I flip it out? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have it flip up. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I want to do that too. So let's see I've got Let's see, a few butterflies, and I've got this. I was thinking of using to decorate. Hmm. So the question again is gonna be, how do I want that to flip open so that they can get into it? And I think I'm gonna put a pocket so that when you put a tag in, it'll hold this down. I think that's my idea. Now the question is, what am I gonna do to make sure that that flips the way I want it to? I do have some little fabric remnants here. That one's awful pretty. Ooh, maybe I could do that. So if I do that, I'm gonna put that down first. I think so. Let's get the fabric scissors. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. Just a little piece. And I have fabric, fabric tack. So I think first I'm going to put it here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna hold off on actually putting it in the journal. Let me set this aside. So I got the idea down. I think what I'll do is I'll get it set up so it's all ready to roll. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And that way I can insert it later. Make sure it goes right where I want it. I have enough to attach to the other page as well. Cool. Mm. 
Now I have discovered and I use quite often Elmer's glue in place of even Fabri-Tac, um, but doing the videos is just the Fabri-Tac dries so much faster. So let's see, there we go, I'll keep you there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and ink this. There's good contrast, but I think I want something to tone it down slightly. And I think this uh, vintage photo will do that. A little bit too bright for my taste. Maybe we'll put a, a crease in it here and there. Hmm? Yeah, that works. Same with this guy, just kind of grunge it up a little bit. Okay, and I got this itty bitty butterfly or moth. I'll give him a little, a little something. Shush him up, don't drop the butterfly. There we go. And last but not least, this little guy. Cool. I think that works. All right, so I'm going to use this glue here. Got those buttons that are the little things on the side that are getting in the way. It's all right. It this way, and I think I'll just use the glitter glue on all of these. This one is not a sticker, so and my little itty bitty. Yep, come on now. There. Excellent. All right, so this is just a, whoop, there we go, make sure that stays down. Just a quick little video. So in this one, we did this little, it's gonna be a little flip up envelope. Let's see what time is it anyways. <laughs> Uh, 23 minutes. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll go ahead and figure out what I want to put inside of it. So I really like these papers. This is from, pretty sure these are from Artie Mays. I'm wondering if that'll fit in here. Maybe we'll go ahead and make a tag for it, it before we go from here. Let's make sure this is going to... Not quite. It's a little bit too big, isn't it? Hmm. It's all right. I really like those guys together. I think I want to keep them together. I also like this combination over here a lot. To play with those. So maybe I'll put them on, on a background. A tag of some kind. Although we do have these guys too, and that would actually fit on something else and perfect in there as a tag, wouldn't it? Could keep it pretty simple. Oof, look at that. I love playing with the color. Too much fun. Hmm. So, if I do make that into a, a journal card, maybe I will, maybe I'll do two of them. Money life, and I will put them on something else that will fit in there. So, do I have some cardstock? Don't have any reach, do I? 
from you. I do not. Hmm. So, question is, I know I have some... Not quite the right size for that. I know I have some more floating around here. Let's just take a peek in this pile. Nope, not there. Oh. All right, give me two seconds. I'm gonna just step behind myself here and find a piece of cardstock that's a little firmer that I can work with. but I don't know if I care for the colors. Nah, too pale. pause guys I'm just gonna grab something to okay so what I ended up finding is some more of that pretty paper that I got from the same estate sale and um, I think this would be you can still write on the back of it uh, easily but I love the contrast that this makes and I could easily make two nice size cards so let's see how big does it actually have to be to fit in there. That is four and a quarter. Four inches would probably do it. Yeah, let's try that. So four inches in that direction. Um, is it four by four? Yeah, I could get away with probably a four by four. Let's, let's see. I can always trim it down a little if I need to. Look at that, didn't even, <laughs> it's four inches, or it must have been eight inches. All right, awesome. And let's go this direction. Oh, give me some more scrap pieces to play with, won't it? Excellent. All right, let's just double check. It's going to fit in there, right around the corners. Perfect. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and trim up those corners. Just to make it a little bit easier to get it into the little envelope. Excuse me. Okay. All right, so let's see, it's going to be this guy. Where did the other one go? <laughs> hmm. I know it was right here. The question is oh, there it is. That's the one I wanted. Yes these two. All right, I like that. I think I need to maybe I'll just do a little bit to get rid of that white edge and trim them. I'm going to be super pale. There's hardly any ink left on my dauber. I didn't use that, did I? <laughs> I'll figure out something one of these days. All right. Since that's the same size, I will just
press down and then this guy and then we will be done so the video whoop, is a little bit longer could have stopped at the 20 minutes but eh, I really wanted to have something to put inside that so I'll share that with you guys oh that's so pretty so pretty I mean it works so well with that butterfly guys so those are the two cards that are going to be tucked away in here for them to find when they flip it up yeah there we go that works cool there we go that can go in a pile all right, so we've got this that we created. <laughs> you can see past the mess here today. And then we've got these little envelopes and pockets. Let's see, yep. These envelopes, that pocket, and then this little guy, right? That we made. All right, guys, thank you, and you guys have a great night. Bye.